Hello everyone. I am Dr. Bert Caritas. The question is, I have erectile dysfunction. Is it physiological, psychological, or subconscious? This is a very important distinction. Of course, we make this distinction during the examination or in subsequent examinations, but I'm going to try to tell you how we do it practically. Because you can think for yourself, ask and answer your own situation, your own questions, and according to this situation, I have mostly stated the situations that we see most often. You can determine your own situation. Now, in erectile dysfunction, of course, there are five important questions to be asked here and we have two answers. The first question is whether erectile dysfunction occurs in regular intercourse or not? What does that mean? What does regular intercourse mean? It is a sexual act performed with the same person once a week and more for three months and more. Anything else is in a regular relationship. In other words, you can be with a person for one year, but if you have had sex four times in a year, this will be irregular. The relationship should be regular, that is, the sexual intercourse should be regular, this is very important. How is the condition of erectile dysfunction in masturbation? Are there physical and social problems? For example, physical problems, such as diseases, blood pressure, diabetes, heart disease, surgeries at work, accidents, etc., work stress, financial problems, recent loss of a close relative, spousal disputes, sexual behavior disorders, that is, the traumatic masturbation syndrome that we see the most, I will talk about a little later. Now let's start with the situation that we see most often. The most common situation we see is that if the person comes and says that I have a loss of hardness in my regular relationship, irregular relationship and masturbation, I do not have any social problems, everything is fine, but I have diabetes, I have blood pressure, I have had surgery, etc. Which is the most common condition you see, then this is called physiological erectile dysfunction. Of course, this is the last distinguished. In other words, it is necessary to distinguish whether this condition is vascular, nervous, muscle-related, or due to other diseases. But first of all, our diagnosis is physiological and urology specialists must treat it. Another very common situation we encounter is that there is erectile dysfunction in both regular intercourse, irregular intercourse and masturbation. We don't have a physical problem, this time there is a social problem. What does social problem mean? For example, in cases such as spousal dispute, sexual behavior disorder, some stress, let's say the person is bankrupt, has lost his job, etc., then the situation is clear. The reason is psychological, as it is obvious. By the way, if there are social problems and the reason is obvious, it will be psychological a little later, which is one of the most common reasons. That is, there is erectile dysfunction like I said in every subject. But this time there are no physical and social problems. In other words, the person says that my life is normal, it continues as it was 5 years ago, it is the same now, there is no physical undiagnosed disease. This is where the situation enters the subconscious because the reason is not clear. In other words, if we put physiology aside, we can put the physical disorder and the psychological separation of the subconscious as psychology if the cause is clear, and the subconscious if the cause is not known. Of course, sexual therapists or psychologists, psychologists who are interested in this job, help us solve this situation. Of course, there are many alternatives in this case, but some alternatives confuse people. Sometimes doctors confuse us too. There are very important fine details there. I don't want to talk about them. But again, there is a situation that we do not come across very often. For example, the person says, there is an erectile dysfunction in regular intercourse. In other words, he has erectile dysfunction with his wife, but he also has erectile dysfunction with his partner. But with masturbation, everything is normal. Is there a physical problem? No, there are no diseases. Often these patients are already young patients. There are any physics problems. Are there any social problems? There is. How can it be a social problem? Here, in fact, this situation can be both physiological and psychological. It is necessary to distinguish between the two very well. Because if it is psychological, not physiological, the treatment you want will not improve this situation. For example, if there is traumatic masturbation syndrome, if this person is used to the act of ejaculation by rubbing against clothes, if he is used to masturbating in this way, of course, he does not need much hardness here. Because there is no going in and out of a place. 
since there is no need for hardness, the blood flow to the penis physiologically will not be sufficient in intercourse. This person says that my hardness in masturbation is good, so it is enough for me. But he says that I can't catch the hardness that will come in and enter the vagina in relationships. If you catch this, which is not easy to catch, you actually include it in sexual behavior disorder in patients. This can be physiological. How can it be psychological? Here, for example, this situation may be related to his wife. So imagine that there is no partner here. Just think about having a wife. In other words, he married his wife, but he did not marry willingly. He doesn't want her, or he has become sexually distant from his partner at work during the events that unfold over time. There is sexual frigidity and so on. This can also happen in such a case. In this case, psychology is entered, and in this case, it is not a situation that can be solved by PRP, vacuum, medication, much faster than by urology or any physical intervention. In such a case, the person has to decide. Either you talk to your spouse to fix this situation, or they will meet with your partner or they will break up. Therefore, this group of patients, like the other three groups of patients, is actually not many, but there are quite a lot. I mean, there are a lot of different types of patients that come to me. Another situation is pretty much the same as the previous one. In other words, there is no erectile dysfunction in masturbation. It's in the relationship and in the partner. But there is something different here. There was a social problem there. There are no physical problems here. There are no social problems. In fact, this is one of the most difficult patient groups to treat. Reason? The reason is subconscious. In other words, it is necessary to know very well why this is the case. It is necessary to go into great detail. Maybe you need to go back to your childhood. You may need hypnosis, etc. But this is more of a patient portfolio that needs to be treated by a good sex therapist. I gave rough situations. The first three situations are the most common physiological, psychological and subconscious. The three are separate from each other. This is one of the most difficult groups to treat that we have recently seen. That's how I tried to explain it briefly. I hope I was useful. Thank you.